Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. Okay. So they are given function to us and what we have to find, we have to find sum of residues at its singular points. Okay. See what will I do? Uh, first of all, I will write the given function. We have, what is the function we have? f of z is equal to z upon a z square plus b z plus c. So this is polynomial of degree 2. So generally what we do, we express it uh, in terms of factors. Okay. But see, it's very difficult task for us here because a, b, c are constants which are not given. They have not given values to them of them. Okay. So that's why it is not easy, possible easily to express as a factors. So let us find a singular point. Singular points means a point where function is not analytic or simply you can say where the denominator is 0. So let me mention here if it's not analytic if when the function is not analytic if denominator is 0 that means a z square plus b z plus c is equal to 0 right. So this is a quadratic equation okay this is quadratic equation and we know how to find its roots in I think uh, fifth or sixth standard okay we have already seen how to find its roots the formula is z is equal to minus b plus minus root b square minus 4ac upon 2a so i got the value of z where the function is not analytic right actually two values we have got when you take a plus sign here you will get the first point and when you take a minus sign here you will get a second point that is that is z is equal to minus b plus sorry plus i should take first b square minus 4ac upon 2a upon 2a this is a first singular point and the second is minus b minus root b square minus 4ac upon 2a getting so we got finally we got the singular point but see it's very complicated no it's not easy to handle so that's why i will call it as alpha and I will call it as beta. So now it's very easy to say singular points are alpha and beta, right? So let me mention. Therefore, z is equal to alpha and z is equal to beta are singular points are singular points. See what is degree of this polynomial 2. So it was expected to get two uh, singular points and we got it getting actually uh, these are poles getting so you can say alpha is a pole of order 1 and beta is also a pole of order 1 since two roots we have got. So I will find the residue. Let me mention these are simple poles. These are simple poles. Okay. After that, we have to calculate residue. So the definition of residue involves Lorentz series expansion. It's very hectic task. But fortunately, we have got poles and for poles, we have a separate formula to calculate residue. So let us find residue of f of z at z is equal to alpha, right? So alpha is a simple pole. So if you have a simple pole, we have a simple formula to calculate residue. That's formula says limit z tends to alpha z minus alpha f of z. Okay, in previous videos also we have seen this formula limit z tends to alpha z minus alpha. Let us put f of z. Where is my f of z? This one. z upon what we have got a z square plus b z plus c. So limit z tends to alpha z minus alpha z upon see this is a polynomial of degree 2 we have already calculated its roots roots are alpha and beta so we can write in that form of factors getting but see z square has coefficient a so i should write a outside and the factors will be z minus alpha z minus beta right if we have simply one no that means coefficient of z square one then simply you can write z minus alpha z minus beta but here we have a so i have written here can we cancel anything? Yes, definitely. Z minus alpha, Z minus alpha cancel. Now I will apply the limit. Apply the limit that means simply at a place of Z, I will put alpha. So this is equal to alpha 
this is alpha a as it is alpha minus beta alpha minus beta so i got the residue okay residue at z is equal to alpha similarly we will find residue at z is equal to beta and then we will take the sum okay just make a screenshot of it then i will go further so let us find residue at z is equal to beta so let me mention the residue of f of z at z is equal to beta so beta is also a simple pole so same formula i will apply so this is equal to limit z tends to beta z minus beta f of z just at a place of alpha i got beta here right this is equal to limit z tends to beta z minus beta f of z same f of z i will write okay we have expressed f of z in this form no same f of z z upon a z minus alpha z minus beta see this time z minus beta z minus beta will get cancelled getting z minus beta z minus beta last time we cancelled out z minus alpha this time z minus beta let us solve the limit solve the limit that means simply put z is equal to beta everywhere so what will i get beta upon a beta minus alpha see it is not looking good no beta minus alpha actually we had alpha minus beta so that's why i will take minus sign common if you take minus sign common i am writing at numerator so minus beta upon a alpha minus beta it is looking good now alpha minus beta here and here also the last task is to take sum sum of residues sum of residues let us add them alpha a alpha minus beta we have to add actually but it has already a minus sign so that's why i'm writing minus beta upon a alpha minus beta getting the point actually we should write plus but it has already minus sign so minus plus minus i have directly written did you notice one thing denominator is same so you, when you add you can write a common denominator a alpha minus beta and you can add numerators minus sign is there so again you will get alpha minus beta alpha minus beta alpha minus beta will get cancel and the sum of residue will be 1 by a okay example is over make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video